green gas has installed 781 CNG stations. We have given 1.75 lakh connections to domestic households and 135 industrial and uh, commercial connections. Actually, there is as such no challenge in, uh, in it is only the investment because infrastructure it costs a lot. When we are laying our pipeline network for one connection, we spent around 30,000 rupees and from government directive, we get only 6,000 rupees. So it is the capex part uh, which remains the constant, nothing else. As on today, due to geopolitical situations, gas supply is being cut by Gale India Limited because we are not getting gas from international communities. But as far as our GA is concerned, Lucknow, Agra and other cities, we are having sufficient gas, there is no shortage of gas. Normally, every year we are spending our capex of 300 rupees crores and our growth is expected in this sector around 30-35%. Year old back, there was a, uh, if we compare from the last year, the input cost of the gas was very low. Now government has increased the cost, so definitely it will damage the growth of the industry. But we hope that it will price will come down and uh, again we will reach to the top. We are a population of 125 crores. Here everything keeps on going. Even as on today from horse car to aeroplane, everybody has a space. So even if it comes, first of all it will take time. Secondly, in India 95% people buy cars or vehicles. They use for minimum 8 to 10 years. So whatever vehicles of CNG are being purchased today, or it will be purchased in coming 3-4 years, it will have minimum life of 10 years. So as far as 10 years is concerned, there is no challenge. Secondly, since battery is a big problem, disposal, so although electric vehicle is coming, unless it is charged with the solar energy, always there will be a challenge. So time will tell to whether how much successful electric vehicle will come, CNG will have the future that I am sure.